Well, actually, I'm a marine mammal consultant. Uh, I'm based in Belgium, but actually I consult in many, many different countries within Europe, but also Asia or um, Africa. And uh, I've been doing this for about the last 25 years. What I find interesting is all those um, tests on echolocation. So we have a lot of those animals that are caught or by caught, you know, in nets or why do they get, you know, um, entrapped and so on. And people have actually worked on developing fingers or way to make a noise, you know, using the animal that we can train for it so that we can, you know, export that sort of, of, of result, you know, into the wild, uh, to try to protect the wild population against stuff like that. So that is an example uh, on, on how to analyze it. People who are in the wild working on the sound of some animals like killer whales or, or, or dolphins, how would you be able to do it if you did not develop the technology, you know, in a controlled environment? Because there's no way we could study those animals there if we didn't develop the technique in a, in, 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 in a controlled population. We have to say sometimes that it, there's a difference between living in captivity and living in the wild. And we should not say one is good and one is bad. It's different, you know. And, and the way that those animals are taken care of, you know, in, in this secluded environment is really, really good. And it's such a tool to help our world that we are actually spoiling for the moment. If we see what we do to our oceans, you know, and, and, and the rest, we are doing a lot of harm sometimes directly, sometimes without realizing it. And it's by studying those animals that we have access to that we can really learn how we're going to protect you know, the heritage that we have received for, for so long. So I think it's absolutely necessary. And, and sometimes I wish that people would put more effort, you know, that, 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 I won't say aggressive effort, but to animals in the wild, instead of trying to bring that anger to animals in captivity that are actually really, really well taken care of and are protecting those others. So many people, sorry, that won't have the chance to see those animals, you know, in the environment. And sometimes when we go into the environment, we might, you know, harm a little bit, you know, structure and so on, and have a great chance there to see the animal. And we can explain, you know, to them, look how marvelous they are. But if ever you go see them in the wild, please, please pay attention because there's a lot of disruption happening because of, because of this so I, I, the educational tool is, is, is just amazing.